Ever wondered who's behind the astonishing advancements in AI? The mind that taught machines to beat humans at their own games and unravel the secrets of life's building blocks. Meet Demis Hassabis, the AI prodigy who's striving to create a future where machines don't just understand our language, but also think and solve problems like us. So who is Demis Hassabis, and why should you care? Well, Demis Hassabis is a British artificial intelligence researcher and entrepreneur who was born in 1976 to a Greek Cypriot father and a Chinese Singaporean mother. He grew up in North London and was a child prodigy in chess from the age of four. He reached master level at the age of 13 and captained many of the England junior chess teams. He also taught himself how to program from books and bought his first computer with his chess winnings. He went to Cambridge University to study computer science but he took a gap year before that to work at a video game company called Bullfrog Productions. There, he met Peter Molyneux, a famous game designer, and co-designed and lead programmed a game called Theme Park, which sold over 10 million copies and won a Golden Joystick Award. After graduating from Cambridge, he worked at several other game studios, including Lionhead Studios, where he created a game called Black and White. But his passion for AI never faded. He wanted to understand how the human brain works and how to create machines that can think like humans. So he went back to school and got a PhD in neuroscience from University College London. There he met Shane Legg, another AI researcher who shared his fascination with intelligence. Together they founded DeepMind in 2010 with Mustafa Suleiman, a progressive activist who was Hasabis' childhood friend. DeepMind is an AI research lab that aims to create artificial general intelligence or AGI. AGI is an AI that can perform any intellectual task that a human can do, such as reasoning, learning, planning, creativity, etc. It is different from artificial narrow intelligence, or ANI, which is what most current AI systems are. ANI can only do one specific thing very well, such as playing chess or recognizing faces, but it can't do anything else or transfer its skills to new domains. AGI is also different from artificial superintelligence, or ASI, which is what some futurists predict will happen after AGI. ASI is an AI that can surpass human intelligence in every domain and potentially become smarter than all humans combined. Some people think that ASI could be the best thing that ever happened to humanity or the worst thing that ever happened to humanity. Creating AGI is considered the ultimate goal of AI research because it could solve many of the world's problems and unlock new possibilities for humanity. But it is also very hard and risky because we don't know how to do it or what will happen when we do it. There are many ethical and social issues involved in creating AGI and its impact on humanity and society. Demis Hassabis is one of the few people who are brave enough and crazy enough to pursue this goal. He is the visionary and leader of DeepMind and its projects. He oversees hundreds of researchers and engineers who work on cutting-edge AI problems across various domains such as games, healthcare, energy, environment, etc. One of the most famous projects of DeepMind is AlphaGo, an AI program that defeated a human champion at Go, a complex board game that requires intuition and creativity. Go is considered one of the hardest games for computers to play because it has more possible moves than atoms in the universe. Many experts thought that it would take decades for an AI to beat a human at Go, but DeepMind did it in 2016. AlphaGo used a technique called reinforcement learning, which is a way of teaching an AI to learn from its own experience and feedback. It also used a technique called tree search, which is a way of exploring and remembering possible moves on the board. AlphaGo learned from millions of human games and then played against itself to improve its skills. It demonstrated superhuman performance and surprised everyone with its moves. AlphaGo was a milestone for AGI research because it showed that an AI can master a game that requires human-like intelligence and creativity. It also inspired Hasabis to pursue more ambitious challenges in other domains. He realized that his technology was ready to take on one of the most important and complicated puzzles in biology predicting the structure of proteins. Proteins are the building blocks of life. They are molecules that perform various functions in the body, such as catalyzing reactions, transporting substances, fighting diseases, etc. The structure of proteins determines how they behave and interact in the body. But a large number of important proteins have structures that biologists still don't know. Using AI to accurately predict them would offer an invaluable tool to help understand diseases 
from cancer to COVID. Proteins are also a primary target for many drugs and a key ingredient in new therapeutics. Quickly unlocking their structures would fast-track the development of new therapies and vaccines. In 2020, DeepMind revealed AlphaFold, an AI system that can predict the structure of proteins with unprecedented accuracy. AlphaFold used a technique called deep learning, which is a way of teaching an AI to learn from data using multiple layers of artificial neurons. It also used a technique called attention mechanisms, which is a way of focusing on the most relevant parts of the data. AlphaFold learned from thousands of known protein structures and then predicted the unknown ones. AlphaFold was another milestone for AGI research because it showed that an AI can solve one of the most important and challenging problems in biology. It also showed the versatility and generality of DeepMind's AI technology, which can be applied to different domains and tasks. AlphaFold had a huge impact on the scientific community and the public health sector. It won a prestigious competition called CASP, which evaluates protein structure prediction methods. It also helped researchers understand the COVID-19 virus and develop new treatments and vaccines. But Demis Hassabis is not satisfied with these achievements. He has a new project in the works that will combine the strengths of AlphaGo and AlphaFold to create a more capable and versatile language model. A language model is an AI system that works with text and can generate or understand natural language. Language models are very useful for various applications such as chatbots, search engines, voice assistants, etc. The current state-of-the-art language model is ChatGPT, developed by OpenAI another leading AI research lab that competes with DeepMind. ChatGPT uses a technique called transformers, which is a way of teaching an AI to learn from large amounts of text using attention mechanisms. ChatGPT can generate coherent and fluent texts on various topics and styles, but it also has some limitations and biases. The upcoming project of DeepMind is called Gemini, which will use techniques from AlphaGo to give the language model new abilities, such as planning or problem solving. Gemini will be able to generate texts that are not only coherent and fluent, but also logical and relevant. Gemini will also be able to interact with other modalities, such as images or sounds, and perform tasks such as summarizing, translating, answering questions, etc. Gemini is another step towards AGI research because it will create a more capable and versatile language model that can do more than just generating or understanding texts. It will also revolutionize natural language processing and understanding, which is one of the core aspects of human intelligence. The future of AI is thrilling, with prospects of machines not just understanding us, but interacting and helping solve complex problems. It's the work of pioneers like Hasabis that drive this exciting frontier. Can't wait to see what comes next. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you won't miss out. Here's to the curious minds and a future filled with possibilities. Until next time, keep asking questions. Who knows, you might just spark the next big breakthrough.